Hey Virgo, it's Meg with Padme's and I'm doing your full moon, what they want to tell you, reading for April, the end of April here. And we are calling in our angels and guides of the highest vibrations of love and light. Because I don't want to talk to anyone else. And what we're going to do is look at your energy. Look at the person that you're dealing with or thinking about, looking at their energy. We're going to look at the energy of the situation. And then we're going to look at what it is that you're not seeing coming forward into the future. And then I'm going to ask a yes or no question with the angel oracle. And you can take some time to figure out what your question is. And we'll get a yes or no. Okay, Virgo, here we go. This is your energy around this situation and this person. And this is your person's energy. And this is the energy of the situation. There we go. And we're going to look at the situation first. Okay, Virgo. The first card that's coming up for the situation is the Ten of Cups. This is complete emotional fulfillment, everything you've ever wanted, wishes and dreams and desires granted. And this is usually having to do with another person. Then we've got the two of pentacles, being stuck in two different worlds, Virgo. My got one foot over here and one foot over here, like on two different, I can see it like there's one foot on the island and then there's one foot on the mainland or something like that. <laughs> this could almost be somebody who has two families going back and forth. Wow, and here's the ace of swords. I'm hearing undeniable undeniable that's what i'm hearing with this ace of swords so this is also this is victory this is getting to the truth of it having this victory cutting things out that don't serve you and having the truth talk about truth of love okay virgo this is juggling you know I haven't been doing clarifiers for this, but I really want to know what you're juggling. <laughs> juggling love. This is also, I'm hearing inner, inner conflict, some kind of inner turmoil about what's important, keeping things going. This literally can be two, two families, two things. Whoa. And we have the 10 of cups to clarify that, but it's reversed. So you've got the Ten of Cups, the Ten of Cups. It's like, this is everything I've ever wanted, yet there's something else that I want and I have to find the truth of it. And here's this Ten of Cups. So this can sometimes mean the end of everything I've ever wanted, the end of my emotional fulfillment. But this can also mean I've already gotten everything I've ever wanted, perhaps in life. And what's next? What now? It can mean that too. All right, let's look at your energy, Virgo, around this situation. And here we have the King of Cups reversed. We've got this masculine energy reversed. Here's the Dreamboat card. This is the in love king who has been disappointed. And these aren't gender specific. Here's the Ace of Pentacles, an offer was made. You know, it looks like perhaps you made an offer, Virgo. Oh, and, we're, and you were left out in the cold. You could be telling me that you were disappointed because you made an offer and you were left out in the cold. And then you had to make some kind of a choice. You had this inner conflict and you had to make a choice. Oof. Okay, Virgo, here's your person. And here's the king of rods, reversed. So this is someone who's fiery and passionate and not getting what it is that they want. 
Oh my gosh, here's the Ace of Cups reversed. Somebody saying that their, their cup is not full. Maybe their cup is not full without you. They're not getting what they want. The Seven of Wands reversed, which is a feeling of having to defend yourself, having to stand up for yourself. Wow, Virgo. So your person is feeling like they're not getting what they want in love and they're having to stand up for themselves. They're having to make some boundaries. It actually looks like they've been, been through it in love. They've been through it. They've been disappointed. This would also indicate to me that somebody, this is kind of like their tail between their legs or licking their wounds kind of thing. It's like somebody who's been, I mean, it like emasculated sort of, or their power has been taken away. And of course, this is not gender specific, but their power has been taken away. Their, their love, they're having to defend their heart, stand up for their heart. Okay. And I want to now get some, what Virgo, what's going on in the future? for the situation that you are not seeing. What's going on in the future in the situation that you are not seeing? The lovers reversed, the five of cups reversed, and the seven of cups reversed. Okay, Virgo, so we've got this choice that has that needs to be made in love. And oh, what I'm hearing is there's no looking back. It's almost like there's no looking back. This choice is gonna be made and this is gonna be the final choice, no regrets. And here's the seven of cups, all of these, all of these opportunities, all of these choices, but when it's reversed, it's like I've chosen one, I picked one. Making a decision in love, no looking back. I've, I'm focusing, I'm focused. And this can be telling this person that, or it can be making that choice. This looks like the choice needs to be made, or the choice needs to be voiced. And let's what Virgo does your partner with this person that you're thinking of? What do they want to tell you? How are they feeling about you? What do they want to tell you, Virgo? Gaslighting, but it's reversed. Yeah, this person has gone through it. This, this person has gone through some heartfelt emotional manipulation and they're wounded and they're they're overcoming it. Let's get to more. What does this person want to say to you? Wow. This just came up. This has been coming up a lot. Shadow work, trauma or PTSD talk and behavior clouds a true connection. This person is talking about a lot of internal work that they are doing. They're trying to get to the truth of what's going on with them and why they choose who they choose. Okay, one more. Why they choose who they choose, why they're attracted to who they're attracted to, why they react and respond the way they do, wow. And they're saying they're looking for unconditional love unconditional love and acceptance. And that's what they're willing to tell you. Wow, Virgo. All right, let's get that yes or no question going. So if you need to pause this, go ahead and pause and get your question together and be asking your question as I'm shuffling. And we'll get a yes or no. The situation will improve. I'm gonna say that that is a yes the situation will improve. And let's get some clarification. I'm actually being called to use this other deck. For clear. Let's 
see. The situation will improve. Clarification on this, yes, please. Right, there's more to the story. There's more to the story. One more. Virgo, we got a bunch. We're gonna use the one on the top that flipped. And this is about not being able to move forward. Somebody hasn't been able to move forward. This is also a rite of passage. And it's like, I haven't been able to take that step into the rite of passage. There's more to the story. That wants to be uncovered. Wow, Virgo. All right, let me know how this resonated for your end of the month journey here into the full moon. And I'll be back with your May Taroscopes. See you soon.